Oh shit! Not down there! Don't go down there. We wait two weeks for two perfect days. We fly into these mountains by helicopter to compete for the ultimate bragging rights. This is the World Heli Challenge. Whatever, it's a totally different game to do it in the in the back country. Looks pretty nice up there, but I think they just sort of running through a few logistics and uh, yeah, hopefully we hit up soon. It's all breaking, completely bluebird on top, so just about to jump in the machine and go up. Shall we go jumping into back country now, y'all? Yeah? <laughs> Good friends, good snow, this is pretty much what I look for right here. The World Heli Challenge attracts a really diverse range of riders. My name is JJ Thomas, 31 years old from Breckenridge, Colorado. I do come from a you know half pipe uh, background, so that's you know Olympics, X Games, do tours. I'm Neil Willem, and I'm from Blenheim, New Zealand. I've had pictures of the Heli Challenge on my wall ever since I was a little kid. A good run is is almost brainless. It's like following autopilot. The World Heli Challenge to me is like going out with friends, ride together, have a awesome time, just chill, yeah. My friends uh, from the Free Skiing World Tour have told me about the World Heli Challenge and how sick it is and how beautiful and welcoming New Zealand is. Good, how are you? I'm Jake Bowl. I think everybody considers me a bit of a cowboy. It's my first World Heli Challenge. I'm really anxious to get up there and see what I can do, actually. It's such a privilege to be able to come to the World Heli Challenge. I've wanted to come since its inception and everywhere you look there's something you know, landscape-wise that's just absolutely, you know, I really admire Harrow for what he's doing and for what he's done for this event. He's got this cool energy and he's always thriving for the best in life. This isn't a normal competition, it's an experience unlike any other. In the mountains, all your senses are enhanced. The, the scary part is before you drop, they say you're up next, you know, do your boots up, put your skis on. And sometimes your mouth gets dry. And then you get this sense of uh, adrenaline and rush and you, you get this onslaught of energy right before you go. It's just trying to manage things. It's basically just trying to keep your body doing what it's supposed to be doing. You, you know, you start thinking crazy things. Calm the nerves before dropping in, that's the crazy tree. It's so gorgeous out here, but things turn like this. So I'm lining up a cliff that looks like it's pretty on today. It's one that Ted Davenport did last year, actually, where he broke his leg. It's a bit intimidating because of that.
<laughs> that was freaking retardedly cool. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real happy I came here. From the heli challenge, I've learned the most important thing about any contest or anything in life is to be calm. I just don't want it to be over, and this is such a fun event. It reminds me why I started snowboarding. Marcus Eater is my favorite oversized little child. Yeah, for sure, I would come back next year. See you there. We love challenges, makes us who we are. Yeah.